Hello, good morning. This is the view from my patio or terrace here in Nagilian, La Union. And my thought for today, so that it doesn't confuse anybody, I thought I would just look at the plants and the table. But a thought that has come to mind is that we as foreigners often purchase a home, a property, for the legacy of when we're no longer here, to change the, the whole dynamics of the family, to give them a good start or a better start in life. And by doing so, we hope that when we're gone, that property will remain protected, ensured that nothing will happen to it, structurally or financially. And that's where I start to think. It's easy to observe that a lot of Filipinos, for instance, smoke. Now, smoking, as we all know, according to the government around the world, is harmful to one's health. And therefore, it's important that we encourage, or should I say, discourage the practice of smoking. Now, of course, if you are a smoker, you'll know how difficult that is for many, at least to go cold turkey and give it up. And some, no doubt, will tell you it's been 25 years since I had my last smoke, a bit like an alcoholic. This was my last drink. But it is important because if you don't encourage good health within the family that you are in, if you don't discourage bad habits and make them more aware that the consequences could be quite drastic. I'll give an example that if it becomes important that you need help medical help because of a practice such as smoking. Who's going to pay for the hospitalization and maybe ongoing cancer treatment that is required to prolong the life of one's loved one? When you're gone, do we all have the resources to establish a trust fund for this bad habit? I don't think so. Majority of us come here on a fairly fixed budget, a fixed income provided by the governments of their country they come from. But for a Filipina, if that happens, of course it's a bit like, remember that beautiful gold bracelet you gave your wife or your girlfriend or that lovely watch, Swiss watch, what was it? Omega, Rolex, a real one. You know where that is now? It's on somebody else's hand, someone else's wrist, and around somebody else's neck. Why? Because when things get awkward, I wouldn't say difficult, but awkward, there's a tendency here in the Philippines to look around the house and see what you can take to the pawn shop. And therefore, all of the effort that went into purchasing those items gets turned into emergency cash. Now, we all know we've been in sticky positions maybe ourselves at one point in life. But once you start selling assets, it's a lot harder to build them back up again. And likewise, Filipinos don't quite grasp the asset versus the benefits of those assets. For them it's just a house. Yes, they want to protect it for prosperity for their children, but when push comes to shove and there's a very big money cost, the first thing that gets threatened is the home. Because there's always somebody out there that's prepared to give you crazy conditions which you can never meet and they acquire themselves a very cheap home 
to suggest that that's not the case is to go round blind. How we best solve that problem, I suppose if you have sufficient resources behind you as an expat coming here, it's a good idea to have a certain amount of money put aside for those special events in the future when you're gone. But knowing how Filipinos often behave when they have a bunch of money in their hand, the moment you're dead, I believe most Filipinos will probably jump into that money bag and start spend, 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 like there is tomorrow. There is no tomorrow, really, because once that money's gone, it's gone. Then you're back to the same square. Do I sell the house to get my family out of trouble? Sadly, that's the what we all face because that's the problem that all Filipinos and all foreigners have, and that is that healthcare is expensive if you have no money. There's no such thing as cheap healthcare here. What is cheap is keeping yourself healthy choosing good lifestyles, drinking, not a good idea, liver problems, diabetes. Sometimes we can't help it, it's genetic, but we can lessen that chance by good practices. But in the back of our minds always, we must remember, one day we might end up in hospital. Now, while we're alive, we'll be able to handle that most cases. But when we're no longer here, and it's your wife, your wife's children, whoever, maybe their brother, maybe their auntie, maybe even their mother. Goodbye home. Goodbye all the effort that you created. And you just wonder, isn't that somewhat sad that they don't see the importance of holding on to that asset and not putting it at risk. Life won't necessarily be easy when you're gone, so it's up to you to encourage good, healthy living, good, healthy lifestyle and careful budgeting, regardless of what pension or resources you have. So if you like this video, Give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button and I'll speak to you again. Maybe you might see me next time. Bye now.